This is James Hilder for IFL TV in association with Macklin's Gym. I'm out with the O2 Arena today. Just witnessed David Hay's return. Emphatic first round KO for David Hay. With me, I've got broadcasting legend Jeff Powell. How are you, mate? I'm very good, thank you. Good. How did you find David Hay's comeback? Well, he did what he had to do. Um, the opponent was terrible, poor opponent. But he's got to get himself back into business and uh, he, he did what was necessary. Um, the guy got hit and decided to go down and stay down. Um, but it gives Hay confidence and the crowd seemed to love it. That was an extraordinary thing, a huge turnout. And um, they sort of saluted him like a returning hero and they believe he's going to go all the way, so we'll see. Could we have expected more of a tougher test? I know he's been out of the ring for three and a half years, but in your opinion, do you think Demori was the right fight to come back to or would you have looked for more close someone to the top ten? In an ideal world, this was too weak an opponent. Um, something a little better than that would have made what David did more impressive. What did you make of the fact he came in not near the cruiserweight limit as normal? The shot that ended the fight was the same one he used against Acro Enzo Macronelli, that sort of tap-tap, let them throw counter. Mm -hmm. His reactions seemed to be as it was. What did you sort of make of that? Uh, well, we all get older and we all get heavier as we get older, even you and I. Um, I'm not comment on that. <laughs> um, he's supposed to vary his training regime and his, his diet. Uh, he seems to be going more for strength now than speed, but I still think he looked quite quick. Um, it'll be interesting to see against a, a, a serious testing opponent. Um, it could be that as you get older, the last thing a fighter loses is his punch. And it probably will really come to the day at 35 sooner rather than later when he'll rely on his power. So he's bulking up for that against decent opponents. He seemed reluctant to entertain the idea of a Tyson Fury fight in the fact that Tyson Fury will not give him the chance. So for the two pullouts of what happened before, does that mean that Anthony Joshua fight's more imperative to him as probably the biggest fight he could have in 2016? Well, he's got to go fishing for the big opponent once he's got himself sharpened up. And there'll be at least one and maybe two more <laughs> warm-up fights, hopefully, of <coughs> external opposition. Um, he, Fury gave him the chance to fight him twice and he pulled out twice so Fury owes him nothing of course, of course. and so he may have lost that opportunity um, after watching this um, they may be wary of putting Joshua in with Hay too soon there's no need to rush Joshua he draws big crowds of his own um, whoever he fights uh, I would think he, for that fight he'd probably have to wait till next year do you think the young guns of the heavyweight division would have took a note, taken note of David Hay's performance today? Yes, I mean, I think I think they would know that I mean, he's got natural ability, he's got class and he's a big hitter. So you'd have to weigh carefully your options in deciding to fight him. He's dangerous. We don't know yet whether he's dangerous over the distance, uh, whether he can sustain it. Um, we can't see from 2 minutes 11 seconds what the training has done for him. Um, everyone will have to weigh that up and come to their own decisions as to whether they want to fight him. Also in the early hours, Wilder Spitaker. I've not put my bet on yet, so I'm going to speak to you before I go and uh, have a little flutter. How do you see that one playing out? I would think fairly easy for Wilder, but not as easy as David Hay against Demora. Yeah. Looks like a bit of a nut Spitaker, doesn't he? I was just reading some of his backstory. He's an ex-football hooligan, ex-prison veteran, ex-sort of bit out there sort of character, isn't he? Well, that's, uh, that's the backstory for an awful lot of boxers. <laughs> it's almost become, here's a nice boy from uh, a, a sweet part of town who loves his mum. That, that, that would be the shock. Dog bites man, man bites dog. Yeah, yeah. Listen, on that note, I'm going to leave you to go and do some real work. We do appreciate you talking to us dudes and we'll catch you again real soon. Pleasure as ever. Cheers, Jeff.